Hello everyone. Uh, today we're going to make a simple 3D slideshow using Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, so I'm using the, um, the same images I was using for the um, um, After Effects slideshow. So you may want to check my previous uh, video too. So let's get started. So this is what we're going to do. Sick Adventures that open your mind go where you feel most alive okay so let's get started So um, um, I'm using the same image I was using for the previous video, the After Effects tutorial. So there are eight layers. So let me hide. So bottom layer, six adventures that open your mind for where you feel most alive. So I saved this as the PSD file. So let's open uh, Premiere Pro, new project. Uh, I'm going to name it as um, Slideshow in my external drive. OK, and replace it. OK. So let me import uh, my background image first. My background image is um, this one, wood.jpg. And I was using the uh, 1280 by 720 pixel. So let me drag and drop into my timeline. And also I'm going to import my um, all other images using the activities.psd uh, import as uh, individual layers so um, uh, I can edit it individually and OK so under activities here so there are eight layers so I'm going to uh, drag and drop into my timeline from the very first bottom layers so that was sick let me zoom out a little bit. Sick Adventures. That open where did it go? Your mind. And go where, <clears throat> go where you feel most alive. Okay. So I have the eight sequences, eight layers. And let me expand my background image as well. <clears> okay, <throat> first I think that my image is kind of a too big, so uh, let me make it smaller. Under motion scale, I'm gonna make it kind of half size of like this. Okay. And I'm not going to change the position, I'm not going to rotate, so I'm not going to change anything. So on um, the motion, uh, let me copy, command C, under copy, and select all other images, and let me paste it. So I have all the same image size. Okay, so from the very beginning. Um, <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the um, um, kind of uh, uh, the perspective of this each image. So uh, under effects panel, go to video effects, choose the perspective, 
and uh, there's a basic 3d so let me just drag this basic 3d option to um and drop it into uh, my first image okay so i'm not going i'm going to change it as a swivel and the tilt at the very beginning let me zoom in a little bit at the end okay so this is the other last scene of my first image uh, let me about 30 degree and then tilt it maybe uh, let me say minus 30 so this will happen just like this okay so let me zoom out so I'm going to um, repeat the same kind of a uh, effect on every other image so I'm um, under my basic 3d option select this and then uh, copy the entire thing and let me select third hold down the shift key fifth and the seventh image and go to edit menu and paste it so this will happen okay now from the second one i will do kind of opposite kind of a, uh, the animation so first the thing is let me choose a basic 3d again and drag and drop into my second image then let me start from the beginning of my second image that's here okay so um insert the keyframe by clicking on the stopwatch swivel and the tilt uh, i'm going to enter the same number 30 degree and minus 30 degree and at the end let me zoom in Place here uh, I'm going to change it to zero so back to the normal okay so let me zoom out so first image is kind of changing the perspective and the second image is going back okay so as I did on my second image select the basic 3d from your effects controls panel go to edit copy and now select every other images so uh, this is the second one so we're going to select fourth six and eighth image and edit and paste it so let's preview it So this is pretty simple. Okay. So we can do this way or and then uh, what I did uh, I just added some kind of transitions between uh, each image. So uh, under video transitions, dissolve, and this is what I use, the cross dissolve. So just drag and drop it into and between each image. Cross dissolve, cross dissolve, cross dissolve. Okay. And then I'm going to make my last image stay a little longer. So rewind and let me play and see what happens. So kind of overlapping, so fading in and out. We feel most 
alive and stay okay so this is done so let me export it export media uh, the format H.264 and the preset I'm gonna use uh, YouTube 720 PhD and then uh, the name is gonna be um, just a slide show and then mp4 file save it and export okay so uh, let me open my file slideshow.mp4 so sick adventures that open your mind go where you feel most alive so that's it okay so thanks for watching and see you next time